Hello, everyone. Welcome to the virtual Viking Hour. We are here with Miss Laura Richards from Scholarship Department, and she is going to be talking to you today about best practices for um, your scholarship application. So, Laura, take it away. Thank you for being here. Hi, everyone. Thanks for having me. My name is Laura Richards. Um, I work in the foundation office as the scholarship coordinator. Um, and we're going to be doing a quick presentation about how to apply for foundation scholarships. All right, so there's my email address if you need me for anything. And we're going to talk about what is a scholarship. Scholarships are payments to support a student's education that do not need to be repaid. Mercer County Community College and the MCCC Foundation award over $350,000 in scholarship funds annually to incoming, current, and graduating students. So who is eligible? We encourage all students who are coming to Mercer to apply for scholarships because there are a variety of scholarships available, whether it's by program, financial need, um, your involvement in um, activities on campus or community. So we have a variety of scholarships um, that are available to all students. And how to apply. So our application period opens every January and you apply by submitting one general application each year. And you can find that application online at www.mccc.edu backslash apply for awards. And before you begin to make your application process a little bit easier, um, having the following information available will help. So your Mercer ID number, your current GPA, your most recent copy of your unofficial transcripts, your program of study, and if you have completed the FAFSA, a confirmation email. All right, so let's go to our application. Oh, hold on one second. So I'm going to take you online. Okay. Here we go. All right. So this is our login screen. And so if you haven't yet created an account, you're going to register here. And we encourage you to use your Mercer email address when you are creating an account. And so then you're going to create an account this way. I created an example account. So I'm going to log in so you can see my application. All right. So here's your application. And you have a progress bar up here um, that's telling me that my application is 83% complete. And over here, you have complete application. So this takes you to the application. And there's tabs over here for the different sections of the application. The welcome screen has a scholarship brochure attached to it that has tips and frequently asked questions. And then you are also asked to certify because our application is self-reported. We ask you to certify and agree that all of the activities, your GPA, personal statements, and essays are accurate and honest. Um, general information takes you to all your contact information. We have you fill that out. And then academic information is um, here we have our academic status is based off of the number of credits that you have currently earned. Um, and then once you select that, it's going to ask you to upload your unofficial transcript. So we have a short tutorial here on how to obtain your unofficial transcripts um, off of your My Mercer portal. So it's a step-by-step -step direction of how to grab them and then upload them to your application. And so then it says, what is your major or certificate? You can just start typing it in. So I'm gonna say I'm a nursing major and I'm not yet in the professional phase. And you're gonna see as you click the answers, the little check mark that says save. So it's saving your progress as you go and you answer the questions. And you're also gonna see over here, as you work through the different tabs and you've completed all the information on the page, it says completed. And if you've missed something, it says in progress. 
And so for financial information, this is where we ask if you've completed the FAFSA for this year, you say yes, and then you upload a screenshot of the FAFSA confirmation page and email that was sent to you, just so that we can verify that you have completed that information. You can say no. So for whatever reason, if you are unable to complete the FAFSA, that's okay too, because we do have scholarships um, where a FAFSA is not required. Um, and you wanna make sure that you say, yes, I have financial need. And then you can complete your essay below stating what your financial need is. And so if you say that you've completed your FAFSA, yes, you're gonna upload that. And if you've completed a FAFSA, then yes, you do have financial need. Um, okay, so qualification questions. We have a variety of scholarships that look for very particular certain students. Um, and so this is where all those outlying questions are. So if you find yourself saying no to a lot of these answers, I don't want you to get discouraged because that doesn't mean that you're not gonna match to other scholarships. We just have a handful that are looking for a very particular student. And then we come to short essays. So up here, if you click this, you're gonna see the rubric on which you're gonna be scored from our faculty and staff reviewers. And then we have guidelines for the essays that we request. Um, and so the guidelines are here. And then you have the opportunity to complete your essay here. You need to click out of the box. Any changes that you make, you wanna click out of the box for it to save. However, just in case, I do recommend you typing your essays in a Word document and copying and pasting into your application, just in case, you never know. Um, I don't want anyone to lose their essay after spending a lot of time on writing them. And so essays are the most important part of your application because the essays are what makes you stand apart from everybody else and it's your place to shine. So when you're writing your essays, you wanna make sure that you are writing in complete sentences, your spelling is correct, your punctuation is correct. And we also are working with the Learning Center so that you can submit your essays to Essay Glance to get some constructive feedback on how to improve your essay. And so after you complete all of your essays, you're gonna come down here and you're gonna submit your application. If it's grayed out, it means that you missed something in your application. And so you're unable to submit your application. So we're gonna go back over here and we're gonna look down the list to find where we have a missing piece of information. And so it's under academic information and I'm gonna scroll down. And if you miss a question, it's gonna highlight it for you in a yellow box. And so, now that I've answered that question, I have the ability to submit my application here. Once I submit, it's going to take me to the um, dashboard and it tells me that I have applied for 13 scholarships. Um, if you have a yellow box here, it's going to tell you that there's follow up actions to complete and usually they are essays that they are required for you to complete. And so once you complete those follow-up application or follow-up essays, then you're going to apply for those additional scholarships. So just because you, it says that you meet the qualifications for that scholarship, if you do not complete that follow-up requirement, you will not be in that pool of candidate for those scholarships. Okay. So I'm going to jump back into our presentation and finish up real quick. Um, so after applying, it's really important that you keep your information, including your email address, up to date. We cannot notify you about any scholarship updates if we can't contact you. Um, one of the things that happens um, pretty frequently is that when students are setting up their accounts, they make a typo in their email address, and then we're unable to reach them and they can't get access into their account. So you wanna make sure that when you are setting up your account that you are making sure that it is correct. Um, award notifications are gonna be sent to the email that you use to create your account. So congratulations, you've been awarded. So this is what happens after you've been awarded a scholarship. So you're gonna get an email notification saying that you've been awarded and how much money. And then we ask you to do a couple things to get that money. So one is that you write a thank you letter for 
each scholarship that you're awarded because there are different donors for each scholarship. Um, by accepting the fall scholarship, we ask you to attend the honors recognition luncheon where you have an opportunity to meet your donor in person. And it's your responsibility to make sure that you continue to meet the scholarship criteria to be eligible. So for example, some scholarships require you to maintain a certain GPA or you have to be enrolled full time. And so it's your responsibility to make sure that for the entire academic year that you continue to meet those criteria. And so then students who do not meet that criteria will end up forfeiting their scholarship. I do try and reach out and just say, hey, um, your scholarship is a full-time scholarship. You need to be 12 credits or more in order to maintain eligibility. Um, the other thing that we do is that we split the scholarship between fall and spring semester. So you'll get half in the spring, I mean half in the fall, and then once you register for the spring classes and we verify that you are meeting the scholarships criteria, you'll get the remaining half of your award. So the Learning Center and the Writing Tutors offer essay reviewing platform that provides brief feedback and in, to help improve your essays. And you can submit your short essay in the prompt to essayglance at mccc.edu. And then there's also more information about this at mccc.edu. Um, backslash tutoring. And so to make sure that you get a guaranteed response, we ask that you submit your short essays two weeks before the scholarship application deadline, which is May 28th. You can find frequently asked questions and other important scholarship information here at this website here, backslash M scholarships. And for the full academic year, so for fall and spring scholarships, the application deadline is May 28th. And so just a quick recap, you can complete one general application and it's gonna to match to any of the scholarships that you meet the requirements for. The application will save your progress as you go. So you don't have to complete the application in one sitting. You can go, log in, do a couple, go log in, do an essay, and you have up until the May 28th application deadline to complete your application. Once that deadline passed, you will not be able to gain access to your application. Um, and for a guaranteed response, you want to make sure that you submit your short essays two weeks prior to the scholarship application deadline. You can log in and update your application until the application deadline comes up. And May 28th, you want to make sure that you submit and complete it before the May 28th deadline. And if you have any questions or concerns or any problems with your, um, your portal, you can contact me. And that's my email address where you can reach me. And that's it for me. Thank you so much, Laura. That was You're fantastic. So <laughs> Thank you. No, that was great. Um, now, I don't know if Scholarships has like a social media page or like a Facebook or an Instagram, um, but no, I know you guys I just have a website. off of the main page. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Awesome. Well, thank you again so oh much. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> and, um, you know, to everybody watching this, make sure you get on that website, apply for your scholarships, <laughs> um, and reach out to Laura. She's fantastic. 